It looks like you've lost the war, but now you're you still exist, but you're just like less powerful. I have no idea what the hell's happening with you. How strange. I have no idea. So it's so weird. Like what's Uh, we will delete all these other templates that we don't need. Like, there's too many templates on the screen right now. So you've all now joined up with the Chinese United Front. Again, I'm assuming the Japanese are now involved in the war. Yes, they are. So the invocation of trade unions. As it became clear that the Nordic countries are starting to embark on the United Path, labor movement has not been sitting still. The Trade Union Congress of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway have convened in the Swedish capital of Stockholm. Here they voted to unify all three organizations into an even higher Congress known as the Nordic Trade Union Congress. Unsurprisingly, the syndicalist elements follow suit in this, and in spite of their alleged opposition to the Nord Nordic project, meaning a unified syndicalist cause now exists on a Nordic level. The Scandinavian International. Leading members of the Social Democratic Parties of Scandinavia, primarily the Social Democrats of Denmark, the Labour Party of Norway, and the Swedish Social Democratic Labour Party, as well as other smaller, often local parties, gathered in Copenhagen to establish their electoral alliance in the federal elections that shall be held in the future. Right-wing Danish media, sportingly nicknamed the Gathering, uh, uh, gathering the Scandinavian Internationale as the International Socialist Gatherings. While they decided to go with the name uh, the Nordic Social Democratic Workers' Party, the subsequent has enthusiastically been adopted by younger socialists, while the leader of the Danish youth wing, Hans Hedroff, uh, did clarify that Nordic Social Democratic does not endorse syndicalism in any way, According to him, the name appeals based on the Second International. So it seems like you're actually getting names now. And you're not just various liberals and various conservatives. Formation of the Conservative Party. Several conservative parties found uh, around the Federation have announced a fusion to optimally partake in the federal elections that are going to be held soon. This alliance includes the Norwegian Haldreit Party, as well as both the Danish Veteran Party and the Danish K uh, DKF Party, which has left experts predicting that Denmark will be the main base of the party. Even though it will still be a highly contested region, considering the strong presence of the Social Democrats. Conservatives got half of the votes. Okay, so I guess the Conservatives have won with a 2 to 1 1 victory. Um, anyway, uh, in Sweden, traditional conservatives have joined this party, although some among them look for certain suspicion to the limited commitment uh, to the values of conservatism embraced in this new party. Despite the name, some members of the Swedish Reichstag abandoned the party even completely when they agreed to join, leaving them independent. The Formation of the Liberal Party! Board members of the Swedish Volksparty, the Danish Radical Vetstrud, and the Norwegian Venstrund parties have declared their intention uh, in the cap federal capital of Gothenburg today to run together as the Liberal Party in the so-to-be-held Nordic elections. As this group is composed of mostly smarty parties, experts predict that they'll have a difficult time actually winning these elections. They uh, might well find influence as a smaller party and a junior party in a future coalition. So unfortunately, all of our cool names are now gone with actual names. In the formation of the Farmers' Party. The Grand Parties are a curious phenomenon in Northern, European, in Northern Europe, especially Scandinavian politics that defend their interests. Naturally, they did not sit still in Nordic countries under United, and two have formed their own unified party to compete in the elections. We got the Farmers' League, the KP, the LP, the NSA, the NSAP, and the NLO. And I guess the Nationals will maybe also vote their own party, I don't know. I guess we will see at some point in the future. We're still like um, one unit ahead of where we should be, but it's not a huge deal. And I think as soon as you're done, you'll be able to demand Alsace Lorraine. Yeah, as soon as it's finished, you'll probably demand Alsace Lorraine. So we should be looking at about an August, early September war. I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe late August. It would make sense for when this war is actually going to start kicking off. Yeah, and now it looks like Spain has also gone syndicalist. Not in the Third International quite yet, but I mean, if we look at um, ideology, like, there's a lot of red on the map. There's a lot of red on the map. There's a little bit of yellow. 
There's actually a decent amount of, of, of brown on the map as well into Sicily's, um, Romania. Lithuania also, I mean, they're in the right spot, but I think they can maybe declare independence depending on how things go there. So section two, the legislative branch. Article eight, the Lord of Parliament shall be a set of body elected by the people of each constitution, uh, constitutional country according to proportional representation. Article nine. The lower house shall consist of one assembly of not more than 300 members. The upper house shall consist of one assembly of not more than 150 members. The upper house and lower house will work together to form the Nordic Parliament. With these articles, the legislative branch of the Nordic Federation has been decided upon. Okay, let's follow you up with the Council of Kings. Yeah, we're, we're going to go for the conservative path. I mean, that's what people voted for. Now, it's kind of the way I was kind of leaning... Uh, regardless, I usually don't play conservative um, too much. I'm trying to screw this cap bottle on. It's not working. There we go. So, I mean, like, MacArthur, he's still holding on. It does seem like the uh, American Civil War is kind of slowly dragging it in into a stalemate, so they can definitely have some fun with that. The Ottoman Empire is starting to do some territory. Are you still at war with Head Jazz? You're actually also at war with Egypt for some. You're actually at war with everybody, and I don't know why. But I think the Ottoman Empire is going to lose their war soon. Can you not get out of here? Yeah, please actually, yeah, go to a port and then, like, don't be down here anymore. And where are you? You're the, are you the troop that's still in, um, South Africa? Yes. Who won the war, by the way? It looks like the Boers won. I mean, they're still technically at war with the Entente, right? Yes, they are. Portugal does not want to get involved in that war. Probably because they don't want to lose their colonies. Yeah, let's actually get these troops back on. Uh, they, I'm not paying them to be on vacation in Greece and South Africa. They need to defend the border with Finland when we probably go to war with Germany for the fun of it. And, you know, to take back Schleswig and Holstein. So more factories up here. Because, I mean, once Germany's at war with France, Russia... And us? Like, there's no way they can survive for too long. Especially, I mean, Lithuania, they got a national populace. I think they can maybe still declare independence? I don't know. I don't actually know what that is in the focus tree. But I'm wondering if Russia will also declare war on, um... The first of all, still could have won the international to kill Ukraine. I, it, it's possible. It's quite possible. I mean, it doesn't happen too, too often. Okay, so yeah, there we go. The war is now starting to appear. How many troops does Germany have? They have 88 to 173. 45 to 116. Decent troops here. We'll see how long it takes for Austria to actually intervene in the war. They're still actually a war with Hungary. They've been fighting that war for, what, two years now or something like that? The head of the Federation. The Federal Council shall jointly take it upon themselves uh, the office of head of the Federation. The head of state is uh, of the constitutional countries take a seat in the Federal Council. The Federal Council shall appoint the Federal Prime Minister and his cabinet on the advice of the Nordic Parliament. With these words, the reality uh, is solidified that the Federal Council will act as a monarch... Uh, will act as the monarch in the constitutional monarchy in a fair manner where none of the constitutional countries will be negatively impacted. Follow you up with judicial autonomy. Each member of state will obtain its own judicial branch, and these branches shall retain full autonomy. The Dane were to judge the Swedish case, national friction. This is, we will merge them all into a single one. Main in place. The highest course will be. Okay, so you know, let's have like a. Um, a Supreme Court above all the other Scandinavian countries. Then we can ratify the Constitution, have an election, and then also maybe integrate some lands, um, increase the power of our militaries. We can do that separate. 
Less training time for 2% more recruited population. Or emergency armies, which is more training time. A 20% organization boost, which is actually like a shit ton. And a 1% recruited population. So we're definitely going to merge the armies because that's just like objectively better. Like it's just... It's just better. Like... Not even a contest. Nej might capitulate soon. But we'll kind of have to wait and see on that. Okay, and Alsace Lorraine will be demanded in about... 29 days. Russia, we'll see if you also want to attack. If you can even attack them right now. You have no allies? Maybe get Serbia and Romania to join your faction. Ternasia is taking over their land. What else is going on in the world? Many governments are doing okay. Mongolia, for some reason, not worth everybody. It looks like they will be killed. The CSA is going to be losing. I mean, they're... Yeah, I mean, they, they've got to lose, right? They, they've lost a lot of land. The CSA, I don't think, has any chance. Who, who the hell is Henry IX? Who, who is this dude? Who, is he th who are you? I don't know. Get him out of my sight. Okay, so you're now all at war with Siam. Which actually is going to bring the Barhadia commune into the war as well. I think Hyderabad is also just about to invade uh, the Dominion of India. Very, very soon. Go for personal mobilization. We need a military to be in tip-top shape. Azerbaijan might fall soon. It depends if they can take Baku or not. One of George V's brother? Maybe. It looks like the Canadian agrees actually is pushing back the socialist. The Hungarians are desperately trying to hang on to Budapest. I have no idea how long they can really last, but, you know, good on them from trying. We also have 27,000 rifles, which seems pretty good. Let's put one more support equipment for right now. Let's see, you are... Let me see, you're template one. So, you know, let's start building, like, two of you. Actually, no, don't build you. That's stupid. Where, where's the armor divisions? I'd prefer armor divisions with infantry instead. Again, okay, I did not change the, uh... Motorized. Do you have tanks in you? No, you're just all motorized. I mean, we'll, we'll train up two of you. You don't even have the light tanks for that. So let's train up two of you guys then for now. The Nordic High Council. Article 58. The High Court of the Federation shall consist of up to 20 of the eldest according to the seniority of office, ordinary members of the courts of justice in the constitutional states, and an equal number of members elected for six years by the lower house according to the proportional representation. One or more of the substitutes shall be elected for each uh, elected member. No member of the parliament shall be elected a member of the high court of the realm, nor shall a member of parliament act as a member of the high court of the federation. Where in particular instances, some of the members of the highest court of justice of the federation are prevented from taking part in the trial of the case. An equal number of the members of the high court of the federation last elected by the parliament shall retire from their seats. As such, a new high court is established. Um, yeah, sure. That's, that's a lot of words. Too many words for me to read. And we're a few days away from war breaking out. The Middle East looks like a complete mess. And the war against Hungary, I mean, it finally ended. It did kill like half a million Austrian troops. Which seems like pretty bad for you, but we'll see how that goes. By the way, who did, um, you've just gone liberal. And you're also at war with, uh, Indonesia. We'll see if... Do you end up joining the Reichspact because of that or not? Okay, the Alice's Automatum. France and Germany will now be at war. Also, this is, how long has this little list been open for? I apologize for that. 
Yes, yeah, so we got the Third International and the Reich's Pact. You will be crushing a German hegemon in. Um. 30. So you got one month. One month of war between the Reich's Pact and the International. Followed by a month of war. Followed by, I guess, the Russians invading. And how long will it take for us to justify, uh, justify a war against you? Also, Japan has a CB against you as well. We'll see if they do anything. 35 days. Okay, that's actually not bad. We can justify conquer uh, against Northern Sheshlik. Take our lands back as soon as Russia in intervenes. Play I've not played Bohemia because I don't have a focus tree. And typically, I don't want to play countries that don't have a focus tree. Um, we don't need war propaganda right now. Put one more in artillery. How are you? You're still not here. I'm guessing you're the guy from Scan or from uh, South Africa. But it's nice for you to finally join us. We also train up to four more units, which is nice. How many units does Finland have? Finland eight, six to fifteen. Not much. Yeah, like a lot of the countries in Austria don't have focus trees, and I don't really know why. And you naval strike around here. Um, our navy will s strike force in this area. Yeah, I mean the army does probably need to be standardized. You're probably you're not wrong about that. Because which of these units, the garrison? I'm assuming are garbage, right? Six K. You know, let's change. Your MP, anybody who's got the MP symbol is immediately getting replaced. Replace you with Infantry Division 1. Like, what template are you? You're the Infantry Division, which is the kind of garbage one. If I replace you with the better Infantry Template 1... You're going to lose some experience, but I'm not too concerned about that. Cavalry seems fine. I mean, I'm sure the rest of you are okay. Also, put in a few... Never mind, I can't put support artillery in here because that requires army experience. Don't worry about that. What are you guys up in this army? Place you a template one as well. Yeah, there, there's a lot of garbage templates in here. We'll keep the armored one for the time being, but... Like, which one are you? Mountaineering divisions. Cavalry. I mean, the cavalry I'm kind of fine with. I don't care about the cavalry too, too much. Yeah, and these guys need to get reinforced. Do we have... Enough equipment? I believe the answer is yes. Korean Uprising, don't care about that at all. Because you're in the Entente. I don't think, like, the Entente is going to be having a bad time. Seeing as the Third International is going to have a direct border with them. Also, yeah, like, you're... Like, like once Russia's in the war, like, <laughs> Germany's so screwed. There's no way... Japan's declared war on Korea. Okay. Well, Japan declared war on the Germans as well, potentially. Kim Koo, currently in charge of Korea right now. I mean, we'll even see if um, Romania and Serbia end up joining up with the Russians. Because there's a chance that they will. I mean, Poland's actually already taken freaking Danzig. Oh, almost Danzig. They've taken... Uh, they think it's a city right next to Danzig, which is close enough uh, by my books. By the way, are you a decision or are you, are you just a declare war? No, yeah, you just declare war on everybody. Okay, fantastic. But it does look like um, it does declare war on the International as well. Which is going to make this one of the stranger second Vilda Creeks we've had. For sure. 
I, I don't I don't know if it actually sees who's in the uh, right back faction or not. So it says it's going to declare war on the black or on the um, the Cuban Union, which I don't know how that's going to play out. Poorly would be my guess. It's going to be a mess. How long? What's our focus here done? They'll be ready in uh, a few more days. Finland doesn't really look like they have any troops ready to go. Yeah, you just declare war on all of your neighbors, which includes people in the Internationale. So, uh, we'll see how that goes for you. Because this is not the what I expected. How do you guys feel with an invasion? You feel pretty confident? Troops in uh, Finland will invade as fast as possible. Um... Do a bit more on the fighter front. And you'll be ready in three more days. Is this he joined the Reichsback? Like, who are you at war with? I mean, that's a lot of people. Don't get me wrong. I got we have our thing for Northern Schleswig. Declare a war. We don't have any allies. Declare the war. I don't think we can declare a war on you right away. You need to actually join the war. Village join the war, which means we can just immediately move troops into the territory. And there we go. It's a war that nobody expected. Well, maybe nobody expected. I don't know. Lithuania has declared their independence. They're actually now going to be a war with the Germans. Yeah, no, you're at war with all of Europe. I just don't... I don't know how that's gonna work out for you is my, uh... Is my thing. Germany's gonna war on Lithuania. Which I think really just weakens them. This might end up just being like a very, very short campaign. Or at least much more than I would have originally expected it to be. Bolt in the Reich's Pact. I mean, being at war with Germany is not the worst. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Russia has much chance of, of survival. That'd be my uh That's my thoughts here. How is air superiority in northern Germany? We're, we're looking completely fine on that. Also, are you social democratic? No, you're, um... Cynicalist? Yeah, let's move our troops down to here. Our navy is still doing completely fine. Germany is at 94%. We do need more oil. Let's get some oil from the Russians. Let's say two factories worth. Yeah, so send you down to Hamburg. I just can't imagine that Germany has enough troops to really fight all these fronts. Ratification of the Constitution. A federal constitution has been formalized in a festive assemblance, um, an festive ambience. It has been symbolically accepted by the federal parliament and been resigned to teach each of the monarchs of the member states in the new federal capital of Gothenburg. When this federation has finally been made official and the constitutions have been empowered, a truly glorious day for the boreal nations of Scandinavia. We've done it. Let's, um, stability goes up by 10%. Let's, let's have our first election. Yeah, so let's surround Kiel. We'll take Hamburg as well. I mean, this has already been a, uh, a, a pretty good war. Let me just put it that way. Yes, yeah, so and this front still needs to be pushing our way down south. How's the war in Scandinavia? You guys need to be on this front, please. Pushing your way down towards...